Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 6th of 2020, well, it is titled Messier 20 and 21. So what do we see here? Well, these are two of the Messier objects, a little over 100 objects that were cataloged by Charles Messier hundreds of years ago when he cataloged objects that were not individual stars through his telescopes. So as he was looking primarily for comets, he'd see other objects that looked a little fuzzy like comets through the telescope, and he made this catalog of them for reference for himself and others that would tell whether or what they were what they were and that uh, that they were not actually comets. Now, we've since actually learned that the Messier catalog contains a whole bunch of different things, including galaxies like M31, uh, which is the Andromeda galaxy, but also star clusters, as we see here in M21 off to the right, and nebulae off to the left, known as M20. So Messier 20 is the Trifid Nebula, which is a star-forming region and one of the youngest star-forming regions that we see in the sky. It's only a couple hundred thousand years old, and we see what happens and forms there are the very young stars. And the young stars that form, the first ones that form, are very hot and produce a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which energizes the hydrogen gas and causes it to glow. And that gives us a distinct red color that we see on the left-hand part of the Trifid Nebula. And then we also see the dust lanes going through it, dark dust areas, where new stars are still forming today. So that process of star formation is still going on to this point. And then on the right side, we see a bluer area. The blue area is a reflection nebula. Reflection nebula occurs in dusty areas where the dust from around reflects the light uh, from the star around it and primarily reflects the shorter wavelengths, the blue lights that we see. So that gives us what we call a reflection nebula, so not the emission of any specific color from a specific gas, but actually just the reflection of overall starlight. And then further off to the right, we see M21, which is actually a very young star cluster uh, that we see here. Now, it is actually thought that there is not really a connection between these two, even though they are roughly at the same distance, but the star-forming regions are not the same. So we have the very young Trifid Nebula, only a couple hundred thousand years old, Whereas about 8 million year old star cluster, still an extremely young star cluster by astronomical standards, off to the right hand side, a little bit to the right of center, and the condensed cluster of stars that we see there. So that was our picture of the day for August the 6th of 2020. It was titled Messier 20 and 21. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Dark Markings. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.